Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee. Weather in five. Five days and five minutes. Brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. And they can keep your home looking great, working great, and also safe in case there's a tropical storm or hurricane, mulch, topsoil, of course, generators, some pumps, and whatever it is you need. Head over to Omni, 631-756-1125 for the best prices in town. OmniTrueValue.com is the website. And we've got a nice day. Uh, I think that's the best way to describe it. The dry air is coming down. There's another upper trough. Uh, you see it uh, swinging here uh, into southeastern Canada. That actually has the coolest air. That'll be coming in for Thursday and Friday into Saturday morning. And uh, you'll notice, too, that... Uh, the uh, air is fairly dry. The weather is nice pretty much in the eastern half of the United States, other than just some patchy clouds down the Appalachians and just to the west of the Appalachian Mountains into Kentucky, Ohio, and parts of Tennessee. Nothing really to write home about. And we have a ton of moisture that is still out there uh, in the uh, southwest. Uh, the uh, radar this afternoon, uh, as of uh, 1.15 Eastern time, is kind of busy up in the Northern Plains and uh, also a bit on the busy side in parts of the Southwest. Down in Florida, we're seeing some showers and thunderstorms around as well. But in the Northeast, other than just a couple of showers up in Eastern Maine and way up in northernmost New Hampshire and Vermont, uh, the radars are nice and quiet from there, clear down to Northern Florida and all the way west uh, across uh, the Ohio and Tennessee Valley, the lower and middle Mississippi Valley, and even uh, around the Great Lakes. So it really is uh, looking good. Storm Prediction Center has two small areas of marginal risk today in parts of uh, North uh, South Dakota and central Nebraska, also in westernmost Texas. And obviously, we're not going to see anything here in the east uh, as the air is going to be nice and dry and stable uh, just in the central plains tomorrow from northern Texas all the way up into uh, east central Nebraska. And on day three, uh, we have two small areas of marginal risk. This is Friday into Saturday uh, as we look at uh, a small area in eastern Minnesota, northwestern Wisconsin, and in the western Dakotas and into eastern Wyoming. Uh, the Weather Prediction Center, uh, this is uh, the seven-day outlook. Now, the darkest green is a quarter of an inch. So anything under that is is minuscule to non-existent. And notice the huge area from Texas up to about New York City and Long Island. Uh, not a drop of rain forecast for the next seven days. Uh, we go just to the north in that light green. We're talking about one one-hundredth of an inch, so barely enough uh, to get the ground wet. So for all intents and purposes, if you're not in the quarter of an inch or more area, uh, you're going to be fine. You're going to be nice and dry. Some of these areas are very dry. It could certainly use the rain, but uh, that's not happening. Uh, we have a uh, new tropical depression that we're going to look at in a moment. Uh, before that, I want to just take a look at the upper air pattern here in the east uh, where we have this trough that's slowly pulling out. And we've got a ridge that's building in for Friday. It's kind of on the flattish side, still a bit of a northwest flow, but this is a warm high along the off the southeast coast of the United States. And that's just going to kind of hang around uh, into early next week. Another stronger high starts to build in the lower and middle Mississippi Valley. And we're on the edge of that northwest flow. The uh, one issue may be that there is a bit of a backdoor weather front uh, well, there's actually one system that the European is picking up on, but the GFS is not keeping it to our north. Uh, if the GFS is right, we might have to get a, some sort of front that tries to come through maybe early Tuesday, Monday night or early Tuesday. doesn't have much with it, doesn't have much behind it, and then the ridge takes over. And the reason why I'm showing this is because uh, that ridge building uh, it may wind up ultimately being key to uh, any tropical storms. Uh, that wind up developing uh, out in the Atlantic. Uh, they'll either uh, allow them to come further to the west or there might be a weakness where they uh, exploit and make a turn and stay offshore. And that's something we'll figure out down the road because it's nothing anytime soon. 
Nothing but high pressure builds into the eastern part of the United States. Uh, here we are on Saturday. It's looking good. Now, we're going to see our temperatures uh, tomorrow and Friday. Daytime highs will be in the 70s. Nighttime lows will be in the 50s with 40s in mo- 50s in the warmer urban locations and along the coast. But a lot of 40s as you go uh, north and west of the coast, both uh, for uh, Thursday night and for Friday. Not so much tonight, but Thursday night and Friday night uh, going into Saturday morning. Then on Saturday, the winds turn westerly. That's going to allow temperatures to warm back up, uh, let's say, upper 70s to some lower 80s, and we'll probably be in the 80s on Sunday. See those showers up in upstate New York and Vermont, New Hampshire? That's the back door that the GFS says does not get through. Uh, It does bring a front through on Tuesday with maybe a brief shower or two with that. And then you'll notice on the lower right, we have a tropical system that the GFS has picked up on in the last several runs. Uh, If you want to see where it goes from here, you can go to tropicaltippins.com and look. Uh, It's so far out in the long range, I don't really think it's relevant at this point. It's all about uh, the ridge off the south, the ridge that builds and and how this storm reacts to it, system reacts to it, because it's not yet a tropical storm. So Tropical Depression 7. Uh, at uh, 11 a.m. Eastern Time at 16.6 north, 49.6 west. Maximum sustained winds are 35 miles an hour. You see the Hurricane Center makes it a tropical storm, takes it straight west uh, into the weekend, and uh, then over the Dominican Republic. Now, the model forecasts with this are fairly tight, uh, with most of them taking it toward the Dominican Republic. You see we have a few outliers here that turn it northward, even a couple that turn it southwestward, but we'll discount those. Uh, but uh, they turn it northward, and that uh, matches up fairly well with, with what the uh, the global models are, are doing with this. Uh, so we'll keep an eye in, on it and see what happens. For the time being, it's just out there. Might be a threat here for the Leeward Islands in Puerto Rico in the next couple of days. If it becomes a tropical storm, I suspect they'll probably have tropical storm watches going up or possibly even tropical storm warnings uh, going up for the Leeward Islands and watches for areas further west. Weather in 5 brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. 631-756-1125 is the telephone number. And the website is omnitruevalue.com. So uh, enjoy the rest of your day. The Joe and Joe Weather Show tonight at 730. We'll cover... Everything, short range, medium range, long range in the tropics. We'll see what that depression is doing, if it's become a tropical storm or not, and let you know what we think. That's tonight at 7.30 Eastern.